we describe a fast process for the scaled prototyping of folded Milli robots. The process begins with a blank sheet of plain poster board. In the first step of the process, the poster board workpiece is placed into a laser cutter. In this step, a fold line will be scored into the center of the workpiece. This fold line will enable easier folding for later steps in the process. When the cutting is finished, the workpiece is removed from the laser cutter. As we can see here, the fold line has enabled easy folding along the center line. This will be useful for alignment purposes in the next step of the process. The folded workpiece is now placed back into the laser cutter. In this step, the flexure cuts are cut into the workpiece. When the workpiece is removed from the laser cutter and unfolded, we can clearly see mirrored flexure cuts. After the workpiece is unfolded, adhesive is applied to one side. A polymer film is then placed on the adhesive. Adhesive is applied to the other side, and the entire structure is then folded again in preparation for bonding. The folded workpiece is then placed in a laminator. The uniform heat and pressure of the rollers ensures that the structure is well bonded. The bonded structure is then placed back in the laser cutter and the outline cuts are made. The flat articulated pieces that result are shown here. These flat structures can then be folded up into 3D to make useful mechanisms. On the left is a SARS linkage made from flexure hinges. The SARS linkage enables one translational degree of freedom while preserving the bending stiffness of the plate in both directions. On the right, we see a series of links that have been folded up to make a four-bar linkage to which the leg has been attached. The four-bar linkage allows the leg to swing, and it is attached to the plate on a flexural pivot hinge that allows the leg to rotate as well. These individual subassemblies can then be glued together to form a 3D robot. The first degree of freedom is shown here and controls the fore-aft swinging of the legs. The tripods move in opposition. The second degree of freedom is actuated by a contraction of the middle plate, which is an inward and outward swinging of the legs. Again, we see the tripods move in opposition. Next, we demonstrate the robot walking at approximately one centimeter per second. The spherical feet are fabricated from PDMS and fitted to the ends of the legs elastically. The robot is actuated using shape memory alloy wire, or wire that contracts when heated. Heat is applied by passing a current through the wire. The robot is controlled by issuing commands from a laptop over a serial connection. Here we see the robot climbing a 30 degree incline on glass.